Hey, Alex from Ridgeline. Just got done with the Advanced Combative Pistol class up here in Dalton, New Hampshire. Uh, we operate in partnership with the Team O'Neill Rally School. Between our two facilities, we have just shy of 700 contiguous acres dedicated to training. Uh, some of the training we're able to conduct here includes tactical mobility. We have over six miles of our own uh, improved roads over varying terrain, uh, aerial platform operations, uh, sniper operations. We have ranges out to 2,000 yards. Uh, we have pistol carving bays, um, facades are going in. Uh, we've got a breaching facility that's slated to come online. We've got a shoot house that's in the works um, and just a ton of infrastructure to allow us to not only run curriculum uh, that we wanna run, but also provide our clients with uh, access to things that they just can't get anywhere else. <clears throat> the course that we just wrapped up, the Advanced Combative Pistol course, uh, it's a two day open enrollment course. It's made for that intermediate pistol shooter. Um, there are no prereqs, so to speak, in terms of, you know, you had to have come to a certain class beforehand. However, there is a shoot-in on day one. We're looking for students to be able to show up and shoot uh, a score an 80 or higher, 25-yard uh, slow fire on an NRA B8 target. Uh, we're looking for them to be able to do a sub three second uh, draw and score a hit on the A zone of an IPSC target at seven yards. And we're looking for them to be able to conduct a uh, four second slide lock reload uh, again on an A zone of an IPSC target at seven yards. Those, aren't, those times aren't you know, barn burning in any way, shape or form. However, it does give us a, a starting point where if that's the basis of every student in the class, it allows us to uh, kind of crank the speed and, and turn the heat up fairly quickly. Uh, we like to run it. It's one of, our, uh, one of our bread and butter courses. But if you're interested, check us out at ridgelineshooting.com. Wider multiple target transitions, which we're gonna do some really wide transitions here coming up. Is like get your toes with the, or excuse me, get the entire array or potential array of targets inside of your toes. So if you're in like this, here you can get away with it because the transition's fairly short. Here it becomes a little bit easier, but if we had to hit a larger space of targets, it's still nice and smooth because I just let my hips and then my chest flow across, let the gun ride recoil, shot press, shot press. Again, when it comes to the steel, I would much rather, everybody get ears? Get ears? I'd much rather see, instead of like... I would much rather see even slower... If you were to shoot an actual mover, if you were to lock in, like you'll see a lot of guys do for like multiple targets, and try to shoot like, I'm gonna shoot three. Shoot ready? Ready. Stand by. I gave him about counting. Yeah, actually, okay. count. I'm trying to count on my head, so that's not one, two, three, four. Two, say it out loud. Two, three, say, four, I swear to God, it's gonna. I don't care. If you're okay. Like, okay. Make fun of me. I don't care. Say it out loud. Here we go. Stand by.
717. I got pushed up in my head. <laughs> All right, here we go. Same drill. Stand by. Same thing? Yep. Now you're gonna work from in to out. So starting at target five. So five, four, six, three, seven, two, eight, one. Stand by. Yep. How do you miss the fucking close? One? Shut up. <laughs> tapping <laughs> thank you yeah but you're not doing cadence call this boss in the sense of litany damn I'm gonna cancel this one we're lucky he doesn't make us run <laughs> sick they have a gong like 200 yards away yeah 200 yards away too yeah and you have to scream dead man walking <laughs> We talked about before points per point. Get those toes open so the whole array is between your feet. All right? You're gonna try to think you know like what order they're gonna go in, and then you're gonna start shooting and all of a sudden you're gonna be like, what? And you're gonna have to find it. Three, four on the swing, you're gonna go three, oh, that's eight. 
But if you go three, four, and break your gaze and go to four first, right, you'll see it. The wider the transition, the harder it's going to be. Never hit four. Did I not hit four? No. Reload though. What just happened? Standing, kneeling, prone, right, rear, Left. Prone. Kneeling. Standing. All right, hold strap. My bad. I thought oh, there was no way. No, that was my bad.
Because there's always been the lights so on. Like, I thought there was a. <laughs> I thought there was a. 127, though. Well, if, some, if I hear a beep in the world, yeah. someone's catching a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, I won't come on. <laughs> my bad. There's going to be a delay before the beep this time. All right, shooter's ready. Ready. Stand by. Beep! Dead ass. Seventeen fifty. My mentor, Super Dave. Um, it's a really good drill. What we're gonna do, I think I've shot, I know I've shot Lee before. I'm pretty sure I've shot Lee. Iron before. Cross. Iron Cross. Yes, sir. Right, so we're gonna pull oh, all together. Yeah. Here's the rules this time now. We're gonna get one lap through just for just for score. So 24 out of 24 hits. Okay, the next one I'm gonna start with a hard time on each action. So you're gonna get the work done. Second rule. If you hit, you're gonna hit a reload in there somewhere. You have to. Wherever you hit that reload, you have to fix it in whatever action that is. If it's freestyle, you get to fix it with two hands. Okay? If it's strong hand only, you gotta fix it strong hand only. If it's support hand only, you gotta fix it support hand only. Good to go. Wherever that reload falls for you, whatever action you're in the middle of, you gotta stay with it all the way to the end no matter what. Good to go. Alright, right, so everything's gonna go off the buzzer. Right? The way it's gonna go, uh, like I said, this first go through, literally just for you guys to work through it. I want you to push yourself as fast as you can to your hands. The second one, I'm going to put a part time, so you're going to get six seconds per action. So six seconds to draw and fire whatever that one shot is, okay? Honestly, freestyle, you should be well within that six seconds, okay? When you get to some of the weird, awkward over-the-shoulders, over-the-shoulder freestyle, or, or some uh, some of the support hand-only stuff, obviously that, uh, that timetable is going to go up. You're going to need almost all those six seconds. And some of them are going to be in the red level for a little bit. All right, so action one, all right, at 10 yards, all right, on the buzzer, you're gonna draw, fire one shot. Your target. All right, second work through your hands, go ahead and hook up. All right, action two, all right, you're gonna draw and fire one shot, strong hand only. Second work through your sight, go ahead and hook up. Action three, if you guys remember from earlier this morning, all right, when I went to draw and pass, I'm giving myself that space to get my other hand under, okay? Don't come out with that really good grip and try to pass it. If you're going to pass, you got to make a lot of space to get in there. If you're able to come out a little low, just kind of like wash it into your other hand. Good to go? All right, so action three is going to be draw, pass, all right? Fire. Second work through your sights. Go ahead, pass it back, hold through up. All right, fourth action is going to be support hand only. Arms are going to reach over. And you will either go between the knees or roll across the chest, which I'm going to like. Come on target, firing at one shot. Stay where you're in sight. Put the gun away here and go back to the strong hand. Again, if you suffer a malfunction or if you hit that reload that you're going to have to do based on round count, okay, I want you to solve it with whatever configuration you need. Stand by. good guys look crisp all right going draw and pass draw and pass stand by look pivot present good job bolster back up all right guys support side only support side only again the faster that you can, if you have to look at your holster to defeat retention do so quickly all right but get those eyes on target as quickly as you can so you drive the gun straight there here we go stand by Guys, holster up. Go ahead. Face right. All right, guys. All actions. The next four actions are going over left shoulder. Left shoulder. Be cognizant. Muzzle discipline until you've cleared the guide here left and right. All right, here we go. Freestyle. Stand by. Holster back up. All right, strong hand only. Be mindful not to eat the back plate of your slide with your front teeth. Stand by. You laugh. I know. All right. 
Draw and pass. Draw and pass. Stand by. Right, holster back up. All right, boys. And this is support hand only. Support hand only. Muzzle discipline. Here we go. Stand by. Nice work on that. Um, hey, so best case. All right, go ahead, holster up. Second action, standby. Third action, standby. Fourth action, standby. All right, guys, go ahead. Face your chair 90 degrees right. First action, standby. Second action, stand by. Third action, stand by. And fourth action, stand by. <laughs> there it was. Justin, Roger. it's going to go really good this time. Yes, Alright, stand by. your head. 
website or headlights here. Try to like get good hits and work your way through. Yeah, so we'll start here. Alright, on the pause row, you'll draw, fire one shot, get your release, start moving, get it. Shot releases you. Uh, two shots per on your way down. Tag X in between. Stand by. Ending with two or ending with one? Yeah, I'm one. So he did it, so he did it too. We shot really I don't want to be like this. Where I gotta roll out and then push the gun past cover. Now, uh, nighttime white light. That's something I might want to think about because I don't want to catch any white splashing back off my position to illuminate me. So I might do something where, in that case, I'll be about one arm distance and then I'll just put my hand, <coughs> like thumb, kind of into the barricade. All right. So that way I know that I'm broadcasting beyond it. All right? I know that I'm clear at night. All right? You can actually get a little bit of stability here as well. Coming up otherwise, that one arm's distance off. I'm gonna come into position, plant, make sure I'm good. I'm just gonna roll out enough. Sorry, I hate technology a little bit. Yeah, Go. I hear you. Deep roll. I'll stay even like you know like one arm distance, I'll stay that rear knee up just like I would carving if I was shooting cover, except that I will bring my knee forward. Okay? So now uh, I've got knee forward, I can still lean out, but if he goes and he moves left, I, I can take a quick step and slide out, and now I can track all the way over to where target one is. So that like 12 inches of movement bought me 10 yards. Okay, so that's why I don't like staying rear knee down. Some guys will say, oh, you're preventing uh, prevent your femoral or whatever. Bro, if I'm this knee up, my femoral is now like this big inside of cover. If they make that shot, that's why I got practice for. All right, the reality is it's a tough shot to make. I care more about, like I said before,
Two thirds. Outboard leg. Attack reload. <laughs> I get yelled at for attack reload and Check reload.
Tech reload. Upward leg. Keep the rest in. No, keep going. I wanted to do a super quick recap on ridgeline defense and the combative, um, the advanced combative pistol class that I took. I took a two day advanced combative pistol class. Personally speaking, I think I'm a fantastic pistol shooter. Um, I'm not a competition shooter, but I'm a well-rounded pistol shooter. Between my gross manipulations of my firearm, reloads, shot placement, accuracy, speed, I've always thought of myself as a really decent shooter, uh, a really good shooter. Um, and, I, and I still feel that way, of course. But Alex Hartman at Ridgeland Defense takes such pride in his attention to detail and his ability to break down any shooter, no matter the skill level, and find out and pick apart what they're doing wrong and how to make them better. He breaks you down to your foundation and builds you back up into a better shooter. So there were some techniques and drills, um, some application that I have never been taught before or have been taught, but not to the detail that I had hoped. And that's what I learned in two day of advanced combat pistol. These dudes are awesome. Uh, they have great instructors at their facility. Um, if you think you're an amazing shooter, I say take the trip. If you can get to Ridgeline Defense, I would say take a class with them. Pony up the money, take the trip, travel. If you're in New England, it's not too hard to get there. You need to get it done. Um, I have trained under about 30 different instructors, 150 classes at different places, and I really had felt like I had plateaued as a shooter. Um, I kept doing these drills and watching these people on the internet and saying, okay, I'm going to apply myself the range that way and, and do that. And I've been doing that, but that hasn't been helping me. And after two days with Alex, I felt like I finally got the curve back. I'm starting to go up on the upswing again in terms of skill and mastery uh, behind a pistol. So um, in the video, there's a lot of steel shooting. Um, that was only about a third of the entire class, uh, class uh, curriculum. Um, two thirds of the curriculum was actually shooting at paper, shooting on under time. Uh, different drills, different expectations, different manipulation of the firearm, um, working all the way, he breaks it down from like trigger all the way through the rest of the firearm. So um, that is all the minutia level nitty gritty that we did not videotape. Uh, we videotaped all the Gucci plinking on steel, the sexiness that will be cool for YouTube for you guys to enjoy watching. Um, but those are the applied, that is what's applied after uh, the, the gross fundamentals and the building of that foundation and the building up of skills. So if you want to get the most out of your shooting experience and instruction, take a class at Ridgeline and learn all those skills on paper that we learned prior to shooting steel. So anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry this is an extremely long video, but it's really hard to captivate everything that you can get out of a class in a short video. Hey all, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave us some feedback in the comments below.